Hi everyone, I'm here with Windows 8 and I just finished reinstalling the OS and I actually, uh, if I go over in the corner here, I actually uninstalled the uh, leaked RTM in favor of the official Microsoft uh, evaluation version and uh, this version is actually available on uh, the MSDN site and you don't have to have a subscription to subscribe to it or I mean to download it uh, TechNet and uh, MSDN subscribers will basically get the exact same download but they'll also be getting keys so that um, you know it's not time locked this uh, particular evaluation version that I'll link to in the <coughs> video description is actually valid for 90 days so that'll get you you know a little ways past the official Windows 8 October 26th launch and it should give you plenty of time to you know use the OS test it out on your hardware and determine if uh, it's worth the 40 bucks or not to upgrade now you'll notice when I hit the start key the start screen is a little different than the video I did previously and that's because this uh, evaluation version will actually, oops, sorry that's not where I need to go go to yeah one thing about the charm bar is a little uh, finicky, you don't hit it exactly, it goes away but Anyway, you'll see that the personalization uh, section of the PC settings, which is uh, what was formerly the control panel in Metro, uh, is actually unlocked now. And with the leaked build, it was uh, grayed out. <coughs> and you needed to provide a key or, you know, use a uh, you know, uh, an activator or a, uh, you know, to get past that. But with the official evaluation version you can you know change all this stuff and personalize it to your heart's content well sort of um, you can't choose every color here but um, you know it's something and right now I've sort of settled on That one's alright. But yeah, um, it's pretty much the exact same uh, software as the leaked uh, build that I showed off, but it's be you know it's activated now. So now I have 90 days. I don't have to mess with the rearm command be uh, between restarts to get rid of the little activate windows. Uh, watermark that kept showing up and can personalize Metro and you know all that goodness so I'm in the process of reinstalling all my apps now and um, I think I'm gonna give Windows 8 you know another few weeks just to you know see if it's gonna be worth the upgrade or not I think uh, initial impressions wise after using it for about a week on my uh, you know main desktop but I probably will just you know spend the 40 bucks and upgrade uh, just because you know it's, it's pretty fast it's pretty snappy uh, still not too keen on the whole full screen Metro but I'm sure that uh, you know some enterprising software developers are gonna be able to tweak that away so you know there you have it um, once again the build is going to be on the MSDN site and I'll link it in the description but if you search for Windows 8 uh, evaluation uh, it should pop right up and uh, I encourage you to go and check it out on your own hardware and uh, see how it runs if there's something specific that you'd like me to uh, you know check out be sure to leave me a comment and I think that's going to be it for this video now, I just want to mention real quick, because someone did ask on my uh, previous video, and I almost forgot, is that 
Uh, this is not an N edition, so the evaluation version uh, will have the you know uh, video app and such pre-installed. And the video app actually works. Uh, in the RTM, it kept uh, you know just closing on me, and it wouldn't really play anything. It would work maybe half the time, and now it just it seems to be working. You know, whenever I need it to. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.